afternoon, boys and girls, Mr. S. Time for your chapter 23 and 24, or unit 2 review, on tracking the economy and its performance. So let's get started. This is a two-part test. The first part of the test is a show me, which means I'm going to ask you the five leading, the five goals of the macroeconomy and the leading indicators that go with them. The name and percentage, for example, the goal, full employment. The indicator, the unemployment rate, 5%. And I need all three, what the goal is, the indicator is the unemployment rate, and what the acceptable magic number is. Three of them will have numbers and indicators, two of them won't. All right, you'll need to list or define and state the formula for GDP. And then you have to state and give an example of the four types of unemployment. So that's the show me part. That's the first page of the answer sheet. Answer those things and move on to multiple choice. There are then 36 multiple choice. And they're going to cover topics about, first, what is macroeconomic study? Remember, the large things, the economy as a whole. If we're looking at the difference between do we study the average price level or do we study what one firm does? We look at the average, the whole, the big. We don't look at one firm. When we look at um, macroeconomics, there are policies. And there are two major policies we use to fix the economy fiscal and monetary policy. Fiscal policy, government spending and taxes. Monetary policy, controlling interest rates and the money supply. So please know that. Um, next, talked about the ideas of the business cycle. We talked about different things in the cycle. For example, what a recession is. What is the idea of the expansion? Those kind of things. Recession is downturn, low periods of output and unemployment, and high periods of unemployment. And by a calendar perspective, a recession is two consecutive quarters or six months of no growth. So if you stay the same for six months, it's considered a recession. We talked about employment, know the definition of employment versus the definition of the labor force. Okay, so please know those things. Uh, we talked about nominal versus real, nominal now, real, adjusted. Talked about inflation, deflation, inflation, increase in the average aggregate price level, deflation, decreasing in the average aggregate price level. Um, we talk about net exports and international. The idea of an exchange rate is strictly the value of one term of currency in another. Exchange rate. One currency in terms of another. Um, we talked about government transfers. We talked about imports versus exports versus investment spending. Please know all those. Please know the definition of GDP. Sigixum. C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Now they may put them in a different order, but try to just know those four. Sigixum stems. Um, know what's counted and not counted in GDP. We talked about GDP per capita. That's measuring per person. And the only time we really look at that is when we want to compare country to country standards of living. Um, we talked about pr creating indexes, know the difference of the CPI versus the PPI, and know that they both use the idea of this market basket of goods. And in this market basket of goods, the items stay constant. It is the prices that change. I think that's it. There's a lot of information. I covered almost all of it. Go through your notes. Look at all the major terms. If you know the terms, 
You know unemployment. You know the formula meaning by the definition. What's employed? People who have jobs. Unemployed? People who don't have jobs but are looking for work. The labor force? Both of those things together. Uh, that should be it. Should be a really good test. You guys should score really well on it because I know you will. That's it. Study hard. Talk to you later.